Hey YouTube, welcome to my latest video. This is my weekly sales roundup. This is one for the week ending 31st of August 2018. Okay, let's start. This is a Land Rover Defender Indicator Horn Stalk. I bought a big bundle of um, car parts at a local auction. It cost me £6 for the whole box. And this was one of the items in it. I got sort of things like brake pads, um, trim pieces, um, brake discs, um, things like um, little rubber rubber um, grommets, mounts, that sort of thing. Um, but this is the only part that's actually sold so far. But as you can see, it's sold for twenty four ninety five with free shipping. Um, so. I'm willing to profit already on that on that lot so pleased with that this is something I've had for a quite long time I bought, again I bought it at the auction the same auction in fact this was a big bundle of car parts car lights um, wing mirrors indicator lenses that sort of thing and I've sold most of them now I've just got the last few things they're all for quite old cars um, this one was for a Mazda 323 for 1998 to 2004 model. But it's all for £11.95 with free shipping. This was again in a box of electronics from the auctions. This is a halogen bike cycle set. It was brand new in box. And I got £8.99 with free postage. This again came from the auction, a Who Wants to Be a Millionaire board game. It was in very good condition, possibly unused, but it was um, open, so I sold it as used. Um, but I said it had never been played with. Um, and I got £9 for it, or eight ninety nine, with free shipping. This was something I picked up quite a long time ago. Um, in an auction lot. It's a Microsoft Combat Flight Simulator. I think I got this with a flight stick. I bought a tour auction. I've already sold the stick many months ago and this was just the remaining game. It eventually sold at £5.95 with free postage and that went large letter. This was a charity shop pickup. Um, but unfortunately it was incomplete, there was parts missing. But I still managed to get 19.95 with 2.99 postage. Um, these sell for quite a lot more when they're complete, so I was really pleased with that sale considering it was incomplete. This is a French tutor. Um, I bought it at auction along with all the computer software and games lots that I have for sale. Um, these sell every so often. Um, this time it sold for £8.98. I think I've actually reduced the price by a couple of pounds um, because I want these sort of cleared now. Um, but I'm pleased that sold and I've got about five of the French ones left. This cassette came with um, an auction lot that came with the hi-fi cabinet which I sold on Facebook um, I think I got £15 for that and I had all the separate hi-fi cabinets and the whole lot cost me about £30 I think um, but it came with loads and loads of tapes I've listed them all on eBay now all reasonably cheap they're all sort of 3 99 free postage that sort of price um, but this one sold for £3.48 with free postage and I've received good feedback for that. This is a Despicable Me fart gun blaster. Basically you pull the trigger and it makes fart sounds. 
um, these are quite good sellers um, you often see them at car boot sales and charity shops they're worth picking up for a couple of pound um, they sell for just under ten pound plus postage I got eight ninety five for this one plus three pound fifty postage but they're so light they will go under one kilogram via parcel to go for two pound thirty nine this was a vintage um, telephone it's quite a nice one actually hang it on the wall it's yellow um, so it's got some sort of retro look to it um, and it sold for £9.98 plus the postage these are easy to test I just plug them in and then I phone the landline with my mobile pick it up and um, make a couple of um, calls and it, it's reasonably easy to test I have actually got an extension lead now to my telephone which allows me to easily disconnect the cable um, right where I need to just to plug in a different phone because so I do pick up phones quite a lot um, so that's a little tip if you're if you're testing phones put an extension lead in to your home phone um, if the access to your plug is behind a cabinet or something like it is with mine and then you can just easily unplug it. This was something that was dumped in a box at auction. Um, it's a vintage um, tobacco tin with Swan logo. Um, and I got £6.95 with free shipping. Unfortunately it was slightly too big to go large letter even with the lid took off. So I had to send it um, parcel to go for £2.39. But there was still a little bit of profit there. This was a brand new wine cooler and warmer um, that came from auction. It's brand new in the box as you can see. Um, very easy to list. Um, and I got £10 for it plus the postage. This was a Vauxhall 15 inch wheel trim. I actually bought these at a car boot sale. I think I showed you um, one in a previous um, sales roundup. Um, I see I get these when I can if they're a couple of pounds for the whole set as long as they're um, branded wheel hubs like they're genuine Peugeot or genuine Nissan or genuine Vauxhall um, you can get around the sort of 14 15 pound for them plus the postage and these are quite good because at the moment with the Hermes parcel label printing in store they go for £2.95 posted because they're quite big once they've been packaged up but they are reasonably light slightly over the one kilogram though unfortunately um, this is a scientific calculator I'm not surprising this sold now people are going back to school um, I probably should have raised the price on this really it's been on sale for a long long time um, but it probably should have I should have raised the price but it sold for 4 99 plus the postage I think it actually went large letter in the end as well um, so I did save a little bit on the postage there this is a um, deep heat body massager um, from Murphy Richards this came from an auction as part of an auction lot um, sold for 10 99 plus the postage I've actually sold one identical to this in the past um, this time it didn't have the inner plastic packaging but didn't seem to affect the price at all these were a good pickup um, I think I've showed you these before I bought a big box of them at auction I think it cost me two pound for the lot um, and what I do I take them out their original cases actually I've got the empty case here as you can see it comes in a a box so what I do I you get five in each case here so what I do I remove them from the case discard the case um, and that's two cases I have to empty and then I put them in a large letter envelope and send them for 79p so I do that for 899 free shipping and these are the actual last ones I've got so they've gone now they've all gone this is something I picked up again at auction um, only cost me five pound it's a turntable radio system um, and it's got built-in speakers 
and it's got a radio built in. Um, and it's sold for twenty four ninety nine plus three ninety nine postage. But I didn't actually post this. The person actually picked it up. And I think I actually took an offer of this for £20, actually. I do remember him paying £20. Um, I think that was mainly because I didn't have to bother packaging it up. And these turntables are always a bit risky posting them. They have to be really packaged up really, really well to avoid the acrylic cover getting smashed. So I was pleased to just hand it over to him at the door. He didn't actually want to use it. He just wanted to sell a hi-fi cabinet. So he just wanted basically a prop to put on his hi-fi cabinet to take some photos. But he said he'd probably use it in his garage or something after. Um, but yeah, I was pleased with that sale. This is a Technics um, cassette player. I think this is the one that came from the auction where I got all the tapes from where I just told you previously in the in the on the Beach Boys cassette and this sold for £65.99 it's fully working even the tape deck um, played at the correct speed the whole unit of all those separates and the unit itself were in really good condition you could tell that somebody had really looked after all the all the items in there so and it was probably you know they probably listen to all those cassettes in this cassette player so um, nice a nice sale and I got full asking price for that one as well a bundle of Betamax tape movies um, I bought a Betamax player which was actually faulty unfortunately um, it doesn't seem to play the tapes or rewind it just makes some noises and clicks a lot so that's on eBay, it still hasn't sold, but it's on eBay as spares or repairs. Um, but I've got loads and loads of Betamax movie tapes. And this one sold for £14.95 with £3.99 postage. Which is good because I think the whole lot, including the player, only cost me about £10 at auction. I've been bundling these up in sort of similar type films um, all the films are in used condition as you can see um, but there's some rare ones I think in there but I really can't be bothered to go through and list them all separately um, and wait for the sale so um, I'm listing these as bundles usually bundles of five actually um, this one is a bundle of four but I usually list as bundles of five and they they have sold this was another auction pickup dumped in the bottom, bottom of a box um, and it sold for £19.95. It fully worked, gave it a good test. It was a really nice camera actually, 14.1 megapixel. Um, yeah, so that was 19.95 with postage. This is a Toshiba DVD player with remote control, again bought at auction fully working. I printed out the user manual online as you can see um, and sold for £15 plus the postage. Again another auction lot. This came as a big box of Wii items, controllers, I think there was a Wii Fit board there, there was all these Infinity, I think I've got about five Infinity bases um, various controllers and some of those um, tennis racket things that are basically worthless but the whole box I think was around the five pound if I remember rightly maybe a little bit more maybe a little bit less but around five pound for everything and I got six down six pound ninety five free postage for this it went large letter just with some cardboard wrapped around it um, but I've still got all the other stuff to sell as well so well into profit now in that in that lot this was another one like the French tutor I showed you before. This one's a German one. Um, and yeah, £9.98 with free shipping. Unfortunately, these are too big to fit in large letter. They are quite thick. So they go um, parcel to go. This was a bundle of retro mobile phones. 
Now, the reason these are all in tested condition is because they're they're either missing the batteries or they just the batteries are just dead and I haven't got the chargers. Um, there you go. You can see some of the batteries are missing um, and the backs are missing and so and so on. Um, but they sell for eight ninety nine free postage and it's just a way of getting rid of this old pretty much rubbish stock. But they don't owe me anything. This is a digital TV free view box. This is a bit of a story behind this because I was negotiating a sale on Facebook which was for £10 pickup, um, cash, cash sale. So we agreed it, arranged a time and just then somebody bought it on eBay for 9 99 free postage before I got the chance to cancel the listing. So I had to basically honour the eBay sale because obviously I don't want to uh, get a defect or anything like that. And I did offer the Facebook buyer some other alternatives because I've got a few of these but I didn't have any that that um, didn't have a remote. Um, I didn't have any that, that, that had a remote or ones that didn't have a remote that you didn't need a remote. So the only ones I had well, with, with no remote and he'd have to source a universal remote this one didn't actually have a remote either but the but it had buttons on the unit to use so basically the Facebook sale never went ahead unfortunately um, but I got 9.99 free shipping for this which is okay for a Asda's own brand free view box this was a, a charity shop pickup a long, long time ago. Um, I don't think I've made a lot of profit on this one. I think it cost me about four pound, if I remember rightly, around that sort of price. And it's only sold for twelve ninety five, with three pound fifty postage. So probably wasn't really worth picking up for the amount of time I've had it. But never mind. This was a good buy at auction, um, a Yashica Electro 35cc camera. Um, it was in really nice condition actually. It came with the lens cap um, with a lens on it and it was in really good condition. There was no fungus and that sort of thing on it. The buyer asked a few questions about it, um, who eventually bought it. It went to France in the end I think. Um, but but yeah all those all those checks I did on it uh, satisfied him and he bought it for the full act, full asking price of 65 95 plus the postage plus whatever GSP charged him um, so I made a good amount of money on that I think it was only about five pound at auction um, but the the only fault with it which I did declare in the listing was with the case there was a um, find it yeah somebody had if you can see there there was there's like a hook that holds the strap on here they'd had to replace it with a key ring um, but no big deal really it was still a really nice item this was a Coopers of Stortford electric knife sharpener again just part of a auction electronics shelf lot um, 10, 10 pound with free postage Another electronics lot from auction, um, eight ninety five plus three ninety nine postage. This took a long, long time to sell again. I eventually got round to listing and testing all the camcorders, or at least some of the camcorders that I that I've got. Um, it took me a long time to actually get round to doing it. Cause I had bundles of wires, chargers, and I had to sort it all out, charge the batteries up, and so on. Test it, get the tape sorted. So there's a lot of time investment in testing camcorders. Um, but it is worth it. I think I took an offer on this one for £50 plus the postage. Um, which is a good price for this particular model. And it comes with a little bag, um, a tape and two batteries which seem to work fine. This was why I took a slightly cheaper price. There is some damage to the strap there. Um, but the guy wanted it to convert his... Um, high eight 
videotapes, um, to presumably DVD or, or hard drive. Um, so hopefully it'll be able to do that. I think this one had a good output on it as well. I think it had S video. Yeah, S video there, which I think is one of the better ways to get the screen off the video camera. So it was a good, a, a good um, Sony Handycam there. This was a nice pickup. I got it as part of a auction lot. Um, it's a mouse for PlayStation One. It was basically just dumped in the box, and I got nineteen pound ninety-five for it plus postage. This is something that's worth taking out of cameras, especially if they're low value. I buy a lot of cameras at auction, usually as as lots, like 20 cameras at a time. Um, and sometimes they're not really worth a lot of money, they're usually worth like under, under £10 each delivered. So what I do, I take out the, the, um, the, the memory cards out of them because they can be worth some money on their own. This one sold for eight ninety five with free shipping. It will just go, um, not even large letter. This will fit through um, the standard letter um, slot in the Royal Mail thing. As you can see here, this is the one I use. Um, so you've got the slot here for the standard mail, and you've got the large letter one. I got that on eBay for a couple of pound. Um, yeah, so that will go for about fifty. 6p I think it is now for standard second class. This came as part of the Wii bundle, you know when I mentioned the Wii bundle where the um, the base for the, what do you call them, the that white base, what's it called? I just mentioned it. Um, I can't remember. My mind's gone today. Um, but yeah, it came with that lot for about five pound, and I sold this for seventeen pound ninety-five. This was a Conic Speed King retro joystick. This was another bundle of Beatmax movies. Um, this one, actually I got an offer of £20 for this, because I do best offer, um, it didn't sell for £29.95, it actually ended up selling for £15 delivered, but actually all he wanted was West Side Story, so I got him to put in an offer in £15, then I revised the invoice, sent it with free postage, um, and he bought it, the... West Side Story, you know, it can fetch a decent price on its own, but I'll have to wait for the right buyer, and £15 delivered is pretty good, really. Um, and I've still got all these to sell. So I was happy with selling that for £15 free shipping. This is a Philips VHS video cassette with the... Um, remote control, I printed out the manual and it's got skirt lead with it, fully working, nice unit actually sold for $39.99 plus $5.99 postage that came from an auction actually that didn't come from an auction, that came from a car boot sale and I think the whole bundle, it came off one of those um, those stalls that do house clearances and I think I bought quite a few different things from him. I think it was about six or seven pounds for the lot, um, which is okay with the VHS with the remote because I know I can sell them for forty odd pounds. This is a Cook's Professional Electric Cup coffee maker. Um, nice little unit comes in its box um, with some accessories in the manual and so on. Um, and it sold for $9.95 plus $3.99 postage.
this is an audio cassette storage box I bought this at a car boot sale I actually bought three of them at the time all, all together it cost me two pound for the lot um, so nine pound ninety five plus postage on this one I was pleased with and the last sale on eBay this week I've got to show you is this USB turntable I've had this on on um, listed for a long time as well bought it at I think I bought it at a boot sale for about five pound um, and it sold for 1995 plus 599 postage um, but it was brand new it never been taken out of the box when I got it I don't think um, or at least there's no evidence of it so I, I did take a few photos with the manual out and lifted it up just for the photos um, but yeah got £20 for it plus the postage that's good for me um, on Facebook this week I've had a couple of sales I've sold a another VHS video player um, that actually sold last night to someone fairly local it's probably about 10 miles away 20 miles away um, but they've paid via bank transfer and they've paid £4 postage and it will go via Hermes parcel shop for £2.95 um, and of course there's no fees on Facebook um, especially when you're getting the payment via bank transfer as well so I was very happy with that sale on Facebook I sold a grow clock which is like a child's um, light up alarm clock but it also acts as a night light I got £12 for that on Facebook and a food processor which I got £15 for which I got at auction um, that went on Facebook I mentioned the VHS player yeah so I'm quite, quite happy with how Facebook's going especially since you get a few people asking for delivery now as well um, but a lot of people I don't know, there's still a lot of time wasters on Facebook um, to make it a viable platform to sell a lot on. Um, eBay's still the best for me for that. Still got to sort that um, Amazon box out. Must do that um, hopefully this week or rather next week. Um, but yeah, it's been a, a fairly slow week compared to what I've usually had, but I've had a good few days and then some really bad days but overall it's been okay that's pretty pretty much the end of the first month of reselling as well for me um, so I started on the 1st of August um, it's the 1st of September tomorrow so how it's gone compared to my um, old proper, proper job um, it's got okay um, not as not as much as I make at my full time normal job um, but it's early days and the business can only grow from here so very happy of how it's going um, I made more than I expected to make in August um, and I'm looking forward to the run up towards Christmas now Q4 getting stuff listed on eBay um, I've actually started to look at listing some postcards as you can see here I've got some old vintage postcards and I've got a box of them a box of them and I've got loads in here but I just don't I just don't know whether they're worth listing really I don't know they're all vintage they're all 1980s but it's hard to tell they're all obscure places in Scotland but I'm going to try and list a few probably list about 20 or 30 and then stop and then see if I get any sales otherwise I'm going to bundle them I think but it's something I want to look into because I do see a lot of um, postcards at auction so that's the end of this sales roundup video hope you found some of it useful hope everybody's sales are going well if you like the content please subscribe like hit the notifications bell and i'll see you in the next video
Thanks, bye.